everybody and welcome back uh, to a uh, Walter original that's right and uh, I am moving uh, the hashtag Walter season recaps to uh, hashtag Walter original because uh, I feel that you know the season recaps is kind of my own thing as well and I don't I don't really do it the way people other people do as well but uh, yeah I, th I think I do it in a special way and you know I just it's it's still gonna be Walter season recaps as well but um, you know I don't want to have too many segments so I'm just gonna you know bunch it together and uh, because I do something similar which is the everything in between but the, the everything in between is the episodes that I kind of missed out and don't worry I will be doing on like uh, Star vs. Force of Evil which you know some some I missed and you know what uh, what I found was it was it was good you know some of the star ones um some of the Steven universe I already did I think I think I did most of star already uh, I'm gonna do the Gotham one I'm gonna do the Legends tomorrow one don't worry about that uh, I'm gonna get to them as soon as I can but I I doubt it okay I can't really guarantee it even because I mean you know I'm just preparing for my finals and that's all it is um but uh yeah if you know i'm really just thinking along the lines because like you know you guys are always asking me like what about the other shows and all that but like i don't i don't know if i have the time but i will try to get to it as as i am able to you know that's what i always say um, Breaking Bad season two, I am gonna get to it. Uh, it's gonna be near this, like near end of December. Uh, Black C, uh, Black Mirror. I have had um, you know, contradicting reports. Uh, you know, somebody told me that it's gonna be late December this year, but uh, you know, official sources say that it's gonna be twenty eighteen somewhere there. So I'm trusting the official sources so far, but you know, I don't live in. Uh, the US so I don't know what's going on and everything and I don't I don't really look at the news anymore because there's too many depressing things going on in the world today anyway this is uh, this is about Punisher and uh, yeah I, I really love the fact that um, you know they didn't really do anything too gory in this one and obviously they can't because they have to keep it like semi pg-13 at least um but man there's a lot of blood in here so you know it's make sure your stomach is empty because you know if you're if you're not you know if you don't like a lot of blood or you know you're hemophobic you know you're you know you're not really hemophobic where you're squeamish against blood I don't think you should watch it either um, particularly the the blood scenes but the other stuff yeah it's it's fine um, and as a whole I think that this is actually a pretty jumbled storyline and what I mean is that they use a lot of the flashbacks and flash forwards and I know it's kind of the style of the Punisher I'm getting the feel of that but um, you know for the watcher like me for a casual watcher like me you know it can get a bit grating at times um, but what I will say is that yes you uh, you definitely relate to, to Frank early on you know you know that he is the Punisher there's no origin story there's no how did he become the Punisher you know he is already punishing people in the first episode and uh, I think that is really great to see because I don't think we needed to see that and definitely Daredevil did build it up uh, to that point and I I kind of forgot that because you know it kind of kind of really does disassociate well uh, from um, Daredevil and that is a good thing that is a good point uh, because I was just like oh okay I totally forgot by the middle of the season and then they brought back Karen and I was like okay this is this is just a callback you know it's not saying okay we're gonna bring in Daredevil to find him no it's just you know something for him because you know it's another tether for him to go yes I need to protect her because you know she did me right so there you go um 
I think one of the most jumbled storyline, like, you know, we have two, again, like, this is the problem I had with Luke Cage. Uh, there is two villains in this one as well. Uh, the first villain, obviously, is uh, Rollins, uh, and then the second villain was Russo, so I'm just like, <coughs> you know, just pick one, because, like, even in Daredevil, you know, there wasn't many villains, it was one. Obviously, the kingpin, and obviously is the sidekick of Wesley, uh, but we always knew he was the lackey. You know, we, we always knew because like Daredevil was like, "Where's where's your boss? You know, where's where's your where's your master?" And you know, Wesley would always try to brush it off. And obviously, the the team, the the villain league, kind of just like, "Yeah, where's your boss? We want to speak to your boss." But there, he's just like, "No, I'm." I'm his messenger, I'm here right now, I am on his behalf, so you will respect me as you respected him, so there you go. Um, I also have to say that, uh, you know, there is, I think, too many supporting characters. Yeah, I, I don't really want to say anything bad about them, but, you know, they, they do a really good job. It's just that, you know, there's just too many of them, like there's Madini. And then there's like um, Karen, and there's the there's the David guy, and then the, um, you know Sam Stein, who died, uh, and uh, but the overall feel of it, you know, is is very war driven, is very gritty, is very, you know, from a place where I can look at it and go okay you know they're not just banking on the gore you know they're also banking on the PTSD and the stuff that people have gone through and the conflicts of war and the consequence of war and what happens the after effects and such and uh, at the heart of it is Curtis obviously and you know he's another supporting character but we don't really see him much that, that that's why I kind of appreciate that type of character um, and actually we have three villains uh, if you really count Lewis but I I feel like Lewis was just kind of like, like scapegoat for, for things to kind of just escalate more uh, but you know in his own right I definitely think you know he was already losing it you know he was a bit too young to go to war I think you know that definitely affected him more often than not um, and I think he saw more shit that he was not prepared to see and that's how he became this way and uh, O'Connor being the the martyr sort of like you know instigating his power to kind of just like we yeah, be more more hungry be more American it didn't really help him uh, and that's such a shame because like I think what Curtis, Curtis does is also really great you know because it is helping other people realize that you know other people have gone through this as well and you are not alone obviously um and yeah, David's family obviously holds an uh, anchor for, for Frank as well because, you know, Frank is the most one going up to them and talking to them and, you know, making sure that they're all right. And obviously at the end of the day, David comes back to them and says, hey, I'm alive. What a twist. Um, but yeah, uh, you know. We, we all know how it got, it's gonna go down, and it kinda is predictable by the end, but in a good way, I was like, okay, it's, it's, it's a wrap up, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, the other stuff, there was a lot of fucked up stuff in, in this show, not just the blood and the gore, obviously, uh, Rollins was a bit fucked up, and obviously, uh, that guy, Bannon, you know, he's a bit into some weird kinky shit I, I don't want to know about it and the less I knew about it I was like okay whatever you want to do man that's, that's your cup of tea it's not mine you know what I'm saying and obviously he saw his dominatrix killed and uh, you know he's just like I, I don't want to die to Russo and Russo was like dead um, 
but yeah, there is also a lot of stuff that I was just like, okay, this is more fucked up than it should be, should have been. Which is, I think, you know, uh, Russo finding his blood mother and it was just like, uh, you know, really, really fucked up with that because, you know, he injected her with, like, drugs and everything, like, drugged her up. This is weird, man. It's so fucked up. I was just like, oh, God, like, what the fuck is this? Like... There's definitely some backstory to Russo that I definitely kind of want to relate to. And obviously, I relate to some stuff, but, you know, I'm told some resentment as well. But not until that point, sure. I've had some, some pretty disturbing fantasies, but, like, I don't think I'll ever act in them. But, you know, he definitely has acted on them. And, uh, obviously, that's his prerogative, that's his right, but I just think that we haven't had the time to know him more and that was really something where it's just out of the dark but also it was really something where I was like oh, okay there is another layer to Billy instead of just you know the lackey and the one under the others you know he definitely respects Frank because you know he's a soldier too so that's why you know uh, in the you know nearing the third act of this series <coughs> kind of helps Frank out as well because you know he, he kind of resents Rollins as well you know he's just like fuck Rollins you know what I'm saying um and there is too much hammering of the head of like him losing his family and I I, I feel so torn in between because on the one hand you know it's really it's really artistic and I was like okay this is you know, this is their style and this is how it, they want to do it. I'm fine with it. But at the other hand, you know, they did it so much. And I was just like, ah, ooh, okay, that, that's enough. You know, like we, we already had like three or four shots with that. It's fine. You know, maybe, I don't know, just some whispers would be would have been fine. But like they keep kind of replaying it in the first few episodes as well. Like the uh, family getting shot. And, like, finally, in the end, like, it kind of makes sense, you know, like, the wife, uh, you know, her, uh, the um, imaginary wife, you know, is, like, come with me, you know, come home with me, which is heaven, so it's, like, you know, come die with me, basically, and uh, Frank is, like, nope, I, I have stuff to do here as well, so... I don't know if he made the right choice, but uh, yeah, this is the choice he's made, and I think my my friend told me this, like you know, the reason why Ghost Rider can't get to him or like do the penance there is because he has no regret. So hopefully, I hope they keep that thread up. But I think he, like you can definitely tell, like in this series, he has quite a few regrets. Like I'm just like. Mm. Um, but yeah, so far, nothing to complain about. I think, you know, some of the scenes, again, because it's a series, it was a bit dragged down. As I, and I, I did skip around a lot, I think. Uh, but not to the point of Iron Fist, obviously. I think, you know, each each episode had its point and it's, it's moving the plot somewhere. And obviously, in the middle of it, in the mid-season... I don't know whether they decided to go back on, like, the Rollins thread, because it was so weird, it's like, suddenly Frank is with the sniper gun, and he shoots the, shoots the window, and it's, you know, bulletproof, obviously, so, and, like, Rollins is like, what the fuck, and obviously he knows that it's Frank, but, you know, it's caught by surprise, and, uh, then we switch back to Lewis, and I was just like, Wait, are they just abandoning it? And of course, of course they aren't. But it's just, I mean, it's a weird juxtaposition, and that's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I definitely re I enjoyed this. I enjoyed the series. Um, waiting for FS for family to come back, obviously. Uh, waiting for Black Mirror to come back, obviously. Um, and I think I'm doing a pretty good job of like covering FS for family because FS for family is really small. And, I I see like the the writers are like Ephesus family is really small, so I see them like you know 
kind of reply their friends really fast and i i really appreciate that and uh you know i don't i am not really stealing anybody's content or whatever don't get me wrong okay i i watch the episodes and i tell you guys what i think about it okay sometimes i have to edit down the episode and that's fine for me I, it's copyright whatever i understand that but it's also in my right to talk about the episode in whole uh but yeah as a season in whole i think the Punisher does a really good job of keeping my interest in it. Uh, never was I was like, yeah, okay, I don't need to see this, except for some of the Madini scenes, obviously. Yeah, that was the one thing I didn't pick up much. Uh, you know, <sighs> this, this fucking horror, she, you know, like, she, she doesn't even get the clue. I was just like, if it was me, you know, I would straight go to the guy that I've been hanging out with too much and you know he's always coming in and always checking up on me and like saying like oh it's Frank it's Frank alive uh you know it is like weird like nonchalant way but also you know in a slithery way in a snaky way because you can definitely tell there is an ulterior motive with him and that's all I'm saying and maybe you know she was blinded by her lust and by her you know whatever emotions okay i don't i don't want to know i don't want to understand that it's it's emotions it's it's part of life it's part of humanity okay whatever but at the end of the day i think she should have put the pieces together and she never does until somebody's yeah, like yeah it's russo and then she's like oh shit you know what i mean i'm sorry about my camera lagging my computer lagging I don't know what's happened to my computer, but that's just my life right now. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, it's not worth your time. Because it definitely, a lot of the scenes where I was like, okay, it's, it's very political. It's, it's very, again, war-driven. I don't want to really use that word, but yeah, it's, it's very, like, battle-driven. Like, I'm going to, you know, kill you because you killed someone that i knew and you know payback and all those things and if you don't really like those storylines and this is not for you um but yeah i enjoyed it because of the subtext that they were going for you know the consequences of war who should be re uh, who should be accountable for those war actions should they be accountable for war actions uh because it's war um you know what is ethical in a war and what isn't ethical in a war where do we draw draw the line etc 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 um i definitely understand those arguments i definitely understand the counter arguments it's, it's all there i was like okay they did a really good job of not really painting one person the proper way and obviously you know by the end of it you can technically make your own draw your own conclusions but again at the end of the day everyone is dirty and you know nobody can really be trusted obviously um heck i don't even really trust rafi yet and that other woman's cia it's just like mm. um but yeah the other stuff with frank and you know his his love for david's family is really because he's projecting and he's like yeah if this was my family i would want them to be safe as well so there you go there you have it um yeah i would i would say go watch it uh i'd give it i'd give it a solid seven i could have been a solid 7.4 even you know i think it's you know with daredevil it was so much more about the you know you you're excited to see like how daredevil overcomes his disability or you know his really just lack of one sense and obviously it's an important sense as well you know all, all senses are important so maybe for taste i guess you know if you if you really want to get technical maybe smell even but uh, you know people do want to smell the roses and all that so maybe taste but you know again maybe you know food connoisseurs and all that so yeah all senses are important for the human being but sight is the most important for me i could 
baby deal with being a bit lost of loss of hearing, but th loss of sight I really couldn't. Like I remember doing the uh, dialogue in the dark where we had to be totally in dark and had to walk the dark. Uh, I was just like, oh, this is oh, this is really hard, you know. Like I don't know how people like how do people do this. And like they have to adapt, obviously, but how do they do it? Like how do they know? Like how do they find a way? And obviously, they have to have guide people and guide dogs, and, or like, no, nah, guide dogs or like people, obviously, personal assistants, you know, maids, butlers, you know. Is that those kind of things and of you have the family members as well to kind of give them moral support and uh, yeah it's just kind of really sad to see and obviously that's what keeps us in that moment but uh, for Frank Castle's case you know it's more on his family values and you know him wanting to wanting to really hold on to those values and wanting to be a better person but obviously circumstances don't let him be a normal person and I think that is such an interesting look already um yeah if I have any complaints really really nitpicky you know um the Billy Russo betrayal was kind of out of left field but I Again, you know, he was a snaky guy, so I was like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I was just like, maybe he's in on it too. I, you know, it, it kind of it really just pieces together. Um, and yeah, that was about it, guys. If you like this, please be like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to me. And uh, please leave a comment on what you want to see next, you know, what shows you would like me to watch, which movies you would like me to review or which seasons would you like me to recap um or if you want to see more original stuff from me please go ahead leave it in the comments below um again please uh ring the bell so that you are notified for future videos that i upload and also youtube let's unsubscribe people so ringing the bell is really the safest way to be still subscribed to me and uh, remember to share love, share my videos, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.